Behold the glorious toilet. Push the button and everything gets flushed away. Never have to think about it. Where it goes, it's gone. Like magic. Well, not quite. What you flush down the toilet or put down the drain doesn't magically disappear. The drains and toilets in your home are connected to a huge maze of underground pipes and pumping stations that lead to a wastewater treatment plant where used water is filtered and cleaned before being released back into the environment. Townsville and Magnetic Island have six wastewater treatment plants. Together, they treat nearly 30 million litres of sewage each day from almost 200,000 residents and businesses. That's a lot of poo. But sewage isn't just all poo. In fact, 99% of sewage is just dirty water. The rest is made up of solids, chemicals, fats, nutrients, and some items that shouldn't be in the sewage network. These items must be removed before water can be returned safely to the environment and the natural water cycle. Once sewage arrives at the wastewater treatment plant, it undergoes three stages of cleaning. The first stage is primary treatment. Sewage enters the treatment plant through the inlet works, which consists of the balance tank, primary screens and grit tank. The balance tank slows the flow of sewage entering the system. The primary screens remove all the unwanted items, like wet wipes, hygiene products and toys. These items cause blockages in the system and can damage the equipment. So remember to only flush the three P's. Pee, poo and toilet paper. Anything else should be placed in the rubbish bin. The grit tank removes any inorganic material such as dirt and sand. Once all the unwanted items have been removed, water continues to the second stage of treatment. The secondary treatment stage is where the science of cleaning sewage really takes place. Sewage flows into a large tank called a bioreactor. Here, lots of different beneficial bacteria help break down the organic solids and reduce nutrient levels in the sewage. These hungry bacteria eat up all the carbon and reduce the amount of phosphorus and nitrogen in the sewage that can harm our waterways. When the nutrients have been removed, sewage is sent to large clarifiers. These tanks separate solids from the water. With the help of gravity, the solids, also called sludge or biosolids, settle to the bottom, while clear water flows over the top of weirs to the final stage of treatment. The sludge is sent to a digester, where bugs once again help break down any organics so it is suitable for beneficial reuse. The sludge is dried out and used as fertiliser in agriculture. The third and final stage of treatment is disinfection. Although the treated sewage is clear, tiny microorganisms may still be present in the water. Chlorine or ultraviolet light is used to kill any remaining germs or bugs. At the end of the process, the treated sewage is called effluent and is now safe to release back into the environment or reuse for irrigation in our parks and golf courses. For more information on our wastewater treatment plants, head to townsville.qld.gov.au.